Hello beautiful family, it's the 28th of February in the year 2023. I'm going to try and get as quick into this as possible uh, so, so I can tell you all that I need to tell you. Uh, as you can see daffodils are coming out, so it's a sign of spring uh, and it is getting slightly warmer. But I, I wanted to emphasize uh, just what's coming upon this world. Uh, let me pray. Dear loving Heavenly Father, I just pray over this video that you'll protect it from these demonic shadows. Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray it'll be a blessing to everybody. Lord God, remind them that they've not been given a spirit of fear, but one of power, love, and a sound mind. Remind them, Lord God, that we have power to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover, that we'll drink deadly poison and it won't hurt us, Lord God, and uh, we can cast out devils in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, remind them all of, of, of this and how the, mo the most important thing is how much you love them. May they all be given a fresh reminder that they are your little children, children of God, uh, and they are going to heaven very soon. Lord, confirm it to them all that we are living in the final minutes, hours, whatever it is, of the end, and that you are coming, Lord Jesus Christ. So, anyway, I want to get into how bad the tribulation is going to be. Right. Right, I've told you before, uh, um, in Revelation, when God pours out of his judgments upon the earth, and uh, great hail came down from... From, he from heaven and, and uh, men curse God uh, because of the hail and stuff and, and yet they did not repent of their deeds of their murders, of their fornication of, of their thefts etc etc and I'm going to tell you something, I'm going to try to get past the algorithms but this is very important so what's, what's happening Right, you, you know the, the old Jabaruru, I've got to say it like this, you know, you know the old thing that's sticking in, in people? Um, well, it's, it's, it's designed to take them, you're made in the image of God, right? In fact, Yahweh is actually written in our DNA, Yahweh being the name of God, one of his names of God, the name of God. So, uh, so um, what they are trying to do is uh, make you into the image of Satan by uh, s sticking this stuff in you, and uh, during during the tribulation, f from now until the tribulation, I heard from a. A professional in the business that a whistleblower I heard it on rumble where it's not censored as much um, that there will be she, she knows another 500 um, uh, Viper bites given to people another 500 so they're gonna be pumped up with this stuff and uh, it's gonna alter uh, who they are in Christ Jesus it's going to alter them being made in the image of God and they're going to come to the point where they're, they're no longer convicted of sin they're not, they're not going to know wrong from right and uh, I believe when they turn on the towers that they've lied to us saying they've got 5G I believe that I believe they've got 10G frequencies, maybe more, maybe more powerful. And those people who have uh, had multiple, multiple um, uh, um, Jabaru Roos, right? If you're a Christian, by the way, this doesn't apply to you. But these people are going to have multiple Jabaroo roofs and uh, the, the, the structure, I'm not going to mention the, the word just in case you get a strike, 
that the structure of their body is going to be broken down and made into the image of Satan, basically. And uh, they're going to turn into zombies. That's why they've shown us so many zombie apocalypse films. The Bible says every man shall eat the arm of his own, his own flesh. Uh, eat the flesh of his own arm. So a normal dying man would, wouldn't do that, obviously. So that proves, proves my point. The Lord, the Lord has told me to, to do this. Um, uh, and I know it's going to get through the de demonic algorithms in the name of Jesus Christ. And um, so this is what's going to happen. This is what's coming upon the earth. So you don't want to be here for it. Uh, I, I think these will be supercharged uh, zombies, you know? Uh, this is what I believe uh, uh, f from those uh, structures, you know, with all those, uh, uh, what do you call them, satellites on them, whatever. Um, well, they're all over the place. During lockdown, they stuck them up all over the place. Uh, uh, 5G uh, connectors, whatever, you call, uh, dis receivers, I don't know whatever you call them. But they stuck them up all over the place while everybody was behind closed doors. And um, they're everywhere. They're, th th these are in secret places where people don't know. They stick them up in trees and camouflage them. And they're all over the place, so so that when the apocalypse starts, um, they'll turn on these strong frequencies, and these people who've had these multiple jabberoo-roo-roos um, will, will be changed, will be changed. Uh, I believe this is coming, and uh, this is why Hollywood have uh, predictively programmed us bombarded us with zombie films. The zombie films are there for a reason. Um, if you think about it back in the 60s and 70s when the first films started coming out, um, the people in Hollywood were just listening to demons. Uh, you know, they, they didn't have a full idea of, of what was coming. They didn't because they didn't have the technology back then. But now they do have the technology. And uh, this is what is going to happen. Like I said it before, when that Red Rider is t comes on the earth, he comes with a sword to take peace from the earth and that men should slay one another, right? It's not just bombs. Yes, bombs are going to come down. Yes, there's going to be world war. Uh, parts of the world are going to be at war. Um, it's going to be it's going to be terrible so i'm just trying to tell you how terrible it's going to be first zombies imagine that having to flee out into the wilderness to get away from these zombies um who who i believe will will be able to sense and sniff sniff out those who haven't had any of these jabberoo -roo -roos, um you know and um hunt them down to kill them uh, that's what I think. Maybe eat them alive. I don't know. Uh, I, I, still, I, I don't think they're going to be like these uh, zombies. <laughs> no, I don't think they're going to be like that. I think they're going to be intelligent, quick, empowered, and uh, strong. So you don't want to be left behind for the tribulation. Um, because, like I say, all those judgments that God pours out during the tribulation... It says they still did not repent uh, of their murders. Notice how it, it mentions murders a lot. Uh, murders, because there's going to be a lot of murdering going on. Um, fornication, uh, adulteries, adulteries. Adultery could not just mean, um, you know, uh, a married man having a sex with a, a, a woman. It can also mean adultery with this world, um, you know. Uh, you know, uh, one foot in the world and tr trying to have one foot in the kingdom. You, you, you know. Uh, no, no, that was a bad, bad example. Uh, 
Oh, flipping heck. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to lift these. I've got the tie to the bag, they're heavy. And I've got on my rucksack was some uh, figs and things like that, which I buy to, to make myself better. Uh, but uh, it's going to be absolutely terrible. And, and the ride of the fourth apocalypse is death. Death. So uh, I believe this. Jesus said, uh, talking about the Jezebel spirit, and if they do not repent, I will kill her children with death. I mean, what a thing to say. Um, so, these people who are taking these multiple Jabaroos are going to be killed with death. Their soul is going to be killed. They're no longer going to be made in the image of God. Uh, this world is going to be a living nightmare. Hell from beneath is coming up onto the earth. Uh, the locusts are coming out of the bottomless pit. Great fallen angel type beings with, with stings as, like scorpions. And I believe they'll be massive. And there'll be many of them. And they're going to torment men five months. And in those days men will seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. Notice, notice how they, 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 they uh, Jesus. We are in the most God-hating period of time ever, ever. The Bible does mention God, God hates us, doesn't it? Um, despises of those that are good, traitors, um, all this stuff. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. So this is the state of our world. This is the state of our world. Um, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Uh, this is what most people want. They just want, oh, as long as we've got our ni nice cars, we've got our nice cars. We there's nothing wrong with having a nice car, by the way. And there's nothing wrong with having a nice house and all that lot. We're going for a cruise, but... That's what people are focused on. This world, they're living carelessly uh, and, and to reject God out of your life and, and for the sake of, I don't know what else. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and to yet lose his soul in the process? Right, I'm gonna get off, upload this one. I'm gonna do another video later. God bless.